President Clinton, uh, dude, inspires me. This guy's this guy's a genius. This guy understands people so well, and I don't I don't really have anything passionate to say about it, really, except that. Okay, he said something on this clip that kind of bothered me. He he said, well, he what he said didn't bother me. He said that he's got his own issues with this administration. He kind of said it, you know, I got my own issues with this administration. And the reaction from the crowd was laughter. Just laughter. Which to me is fucked up. That the fucking, the American public would listen to Bill Clinton talk about how he's got serious issues with this fucking administration. Say, he knows, admit, Bill Clinton knows what he's talking about. He's, he, he knows politics. He knows people. And then just laugh. And then just laugh about it. Laugh it off. This is the mentality. This is the fucking American mentality since people started criticizing. Like, people criticize this government. Nothing happens. Nothing happens. We just, we, it's like we're just whining about it. I'm so tired of it. I'm so tired of it. I want to put something together on YouTube. I want to put a big... I mean, this is this YouTube is huge, dude. Man, brother, friend, guy, whatever you want to call, whoever. I don't want someone making fun of me because I use the word dude. We're all the same. We just all speak differently. Now, YouTube has got an opportunity to really... Dude, it's like another life. That we have real life and we have our internet life and we can use YouTube to express our personal views about politics and our own thoughts about our emotions. There's, it's no holds barred. So I think this is an opportunity for us to do something and, and we are doing something. This is the beginning of something great. I went up to uh, uh, Bronson Woods today with Amanda up uh, in Los Angeles where I live and uh, just got into the nature, got out into nature and just kind of relaxed, you know, meditate, not really meditate so much, I mean, I was doing, having thoughts of my own, and she was, and we were having conversation, and it was a really great way to get back to that idea that society, to remember, you know, society doesn't control us, we control society, we, because we are society, the, the American citizen is, is we, we make up society, our interactions, our daily interactions is what creates it. We don't have to be afraid of it, and we don't have to get pinned down by money and, you know, American medicine, like, or, or our cars, or all this. We can live without being pinned down by it. It's a choice that we have to make. Oh, but what I'm going to do is, I'm going to start doing this, uh, going out up into the, uh, into the park, and just, I don't know, having some good conversation with Amanda whoever wants to join me. Let me know if you're interested in something like that. You live in Los Angeles.